Hey, it turns out this next segment is not just for the halibut. <laughs> we have lobster and salmon and all kinds of stuff here as well. In fact, lobster live showing here. Hey, it's Fishy Friday, and uh, Darren Gorski is here, the fishmonger from the fish market. We've got uh, Tim is here as well. Uh, to talk about uh, some of the stuff, the great stuff you're cooking up there at the okay. fish market. All the time. Great stuff, and you can bring stuff home. So we got a lot to talk about well, today. Well, let's get right on down here first. Uh, let's get Darren going here. Uh, this is an Alaskan halibut. Alaskan halibut. Uh, is this pounds. a big one, a small one, a medium-sized one? Is that medium-sized. They, they have 20, 30s, and we have, this is a 40, 60, and they have 60, 80s, and that's kind of where we want to draw it right there because the meat is a... Uh, it gets a little bit thick, and, and we have to butterfly it for the grill. But this is a perfect size right here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it's a big Okay, show so. folks, uh, and, and this is something okay. that you do every day yeah. so that they don't have to. Yeah, you want to have a nice sharp knife and uh, Stand back. bring it to the side. And what you want to do is what we call filleting. So we're going to take this guy right here, puncture little holes. So you have a little hand, hand handle there. Of course you do. Look All at right. that. That's a trick. All right. And like then you want to come through. Yes. Really? If you're ever filleting right. a 45 pound halibut, there's one of your first tricks you just learned right there. Right. Cut yourself a handle. Okay. <laughs> and after that, you're able to pick it up. And then uh, we'll flip it over this way so we can see the meat. Wow. Darren, okay, how long so, have you been doing this? Um, over 30 years. Over 30 yeah. years. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I've been on a boat ever since I was a kid. My dad was a commercial fisherman, and then I moved out to San Diego when I was 15. But, I'm, I'm yeah. glad you finally yeah. shared that with us because yeah. we've never had a chance to talk about yeah. that. I mean, this is something that's not. It's not just a job for you. This is no, a I passion. I love it. It's a passion. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's part of your life. Absolutely, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, but this is Alaskan Howl, but the season's right now. It started March 18th, and it goes all the way to middle of November. So it's a long season, but at the same time, this fish is beautiful. It has a How nice much delic did that fish cost? Well, I don't know. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. How much no. did it cost you? No, this fish right now, it's, it's nine fifty a pound whole. Whole? Yeah, okay. so that's why it's so expensive. You know, you got a lot of people that are um, also involved, too. Chinese, the Japanese who love this fish, so that's why it gets exported, love it, and that's why it's so expensive. So you have to work to actually get your share of Alaskan yeah, halibut here. Well, we've been doing it for a long time. We're really pretty settled in San Diego, yeah, okay. and so we, we have some good purveyors on it along with Show that. Show folks so. what else they can get at the fish market. They Alaskan want to buy fresh have, fish, take it home and prepare We have Scottish salmon, we have yellowtail, we have Cabrillo sea bass, and our, you know, what we like is uh, the owner loves the swordfish, so we have signature dish also is a swordfish. But, you know, Coming up too next month, the seasons you know run quickly. So we have Alaskan halibut season right now, and also this is a king salmon season, you know, wow. right here. But this is a troll caught up in Oregon. They opened up a small window up there right now, so our you won't That's see that. That's what the bears didn't get. Right, you're gonna see <laughs> May. You're gonna see a lot of the stuff come, uh, the king salmon coming in May. So wow. those are things to look forward to. Okay. Fantastic, Tim. Yeah. Kind of yeah. fill us in on uh, what else we've got yeah, here and, and what you're cooking up these days. At both of our fish market locations, Del Mar and the Harbor, next to the Midway, you can get all that stuff. Take it home. It is Fishy Friday during Lent, so you got 16 days. Uh, to eat all that seafood. But we have great different uh, seafood items. Every day they come in, they're all fresh, from oysters to the scallops to the different types of mussels and clams, uh, a, lot, a lot of shellfish, live Maine lobster. Now, Kimmy's uh, really into nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> 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 which, which dish to hers? For someone like me, I'm not going to eat all of this in one sitting, so how do I save it in the fridge, or what's the best way to sort of keep it for well, a couple of days? Yeah, you know, the, what we do is we guarantee our fish out in the case for three days. And the reason okay. we do that is because we don't want something sitting in the fridge, more or less, you know, because when we take it off the bone, then it, you know, we just wanted to have the freshest quality. Okay, so and three days. Yeah, three really, days is what okay. we guarantee. But uh, you know, it's it's something that you just want to get and bring home and cook. Yeah. You know, and if you can do it on a daily basis or bring it for a couple meals and then go back to the fish market or your local purveyor, whatever when so you choose. So freezing is not a uh, it's, good it's, thing. It's an option if you're if you're say, oh my God, I got to go out of town, freeze got it. it. Yeah, but, then, yeah, but, but then yeah. what's the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so no, yeah. Tim, so, I got to tell you, my yeah. all-time favorite, seriously is Chipino. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, not that, for the faint of heart. Oh. You're going to get messy. We give you a bib and what you just jig Chipino? right in. Right here. It's everything <laughs> in a tasty bowl. <laughs> and how it came about, Chipino is a chip in. So from all the different cultures and stuff like that. So that's what it is. Chip and mussel, scallops, uh, Dungeness crab, you know, your finfish, ah. all kinds of stuff that's in there. In and then also your garlic broth. bread and pasta if you would like to come with it also. Now, uh, you got any tips for, for folks? That well, keep it simple. You've got yeah. great fish. You come to the fish market. Like I said, both locations have all this great stuff in their window cases. And we mesquite grill it. So just a little bit of oil on the grill. Keep it easy, nice and simple. Let the fish be the star. That's what you come in. We'll do it for you if you want, because uh, I know you're working hard. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, or you can do it yourself. And if you're going to do it, do it at yeah. home, a little oil on the grill, mesquite fired is how we do it at the restaurant, and it's fantastic. Yeah, what's the worst exactly. mistake that people are going to make, though, uh, when they try to grill it at home? Overcook it. Over yeah, that, yeah. Man. Don't, you don't want to do that. It's a delicate piece of fish, and you want to make sure that you cook it right. So you're kind of watching it. So this Never isn't the one away. where you. Yeah, this isn't the one where you go to the beer 
beer, get the beer and come back. You've got to keep an eye on it. <laughs> so we'll see you at the fish market. Guilty, guilty of charge. Three, three minutes inside. Right. Yeah. Okay. Three minutes inside. Three minutes, three days. Okay, so, guys. Yeah. Uh, thank you so oh, much. Yeah, the fish market again. Uh, two locations. You know, down on the harbor, up in Del Mar. Yeah. I mean, it's just. It, a beautiful place to eat. And don't and forget a, our smoked fish. And don't forget <laughs> the smoked fish, which I love. Smoked fish. Just saying. The, exactly. the, the truth is, I brought a cooler today. Just <laughs> <in case. laughs> no, okay. We're coming right back. You guys will be back Friday too. Absolutely. Next Friday. Next Friday.